Do you want your Zoom meetings to look like this while sharing what you're working on your desk like this? and sharing another external device like an iPad like what you see on the screen right now. So I'm gonna demonstrate this coming up on Frame 316 Media. Hello everyone, I'm a bit excited today. I'm gonna be doing a simple demonstration on how you can do multiple cameras for your Zoom meeting so you would uh, have or come up with that really amazing zoom broadcast whether you're running a meeting or you're doing a live stream or you're just doing a webinar so i receive a lot of uh, questions from my peers and from people that i work with on how i'm able to use multiple cameras for some of my broadcasts uh, not only on zoom but also on Streamyard, which i regularly use for uh, live streaming so if you are new here, my name is Robert and you're watching Frame 316 Media and this YouTube channel is all about helping you tell better stories. So we do a lot of videos once a week and, and create content that would help you tell better stories and that would help you grow your brand or your business using video. So jumping in straight to our episode for today, I'm going to just you know switch from an Osmo Pocket which I'm filming right now, my go-to camera for recording this video episodes that you have been watching and I have an external camera which is a Sony here I'm pointing it here right now and another mirrorless camera which is an OMD you know an Olympus camera that I own for uh, quite some time now and of course a tablet which I'm, I'm using a, a, an old iPad here just to demonstrate what you can do okay so if I would jump in from looking at one camera to the other you know please forgive me because there's a lot of stuff happening here on my area right now so jumping in I want to show you this part here on our zoom screen which is okay this is already showing the the view from my uh, omd camera the one on my top of my you know left of my screen my head <laughs> so the principle is you need to get a capture card so what you're seeing right now this is a pretty you know advanced capture card but it's the same principle your camera should go to a card like this and this card should be connected to your laptop in my case i'm using a macbook pro and the thing here the weird box that you see here on the left this is actually um an audio interface uh, I don't have my microphone plug on it right now because I'm using an episode. I'm, I'm filming an episode and my microphone is actually plugged on my uh, H6 audio recorder. How does this multiple camera work on Zoom? So I would assume, let me just go back to Zoom right now. Okay, I'm going to use the Zoom camera. So I would assume that you're here right now. You understand how to, you know, basically create a meeting or join a meeting. And this is not a Zoom tutorial. I'm showing you how you can make your existing Zoom meetings really amazing. So going back to what we can see here on my uh, table here, my setup here. Uh, <coughs> the idea is this capture card needs a power to run so this cable here that you see this is this this is the uh, power cable and this red cable here which is the usb it goes straight to my um, macbook pro so this is just a usb connection so it's a plug and play what i'm using is a black magic design at the mini uh i didn't need to install anything when i plug it it was detected immediately and the three cables here that you see uh, right here on the upper left is the uh, cameras, the multiple cameras. The two black cables here are connected. One is connected to my front camera, which is the Sony. One is connected to my secondary camera, which is the Olympus. And this red cable here is connected to the tablet. Just very quickly, that's how it works, you know. And um, I'm not saying you get the similar gears, but you find when you go to Amazon or you go to, you know, whatever your favorite uh, online shopping space is. You just look for a capture card that accepts multiple inputs. So that's the idea because your capture card would go to your Zoom and uh, whatever is plugged on that capture card will be detected by Zoom. So when I go to my Zoom screen right now, as you can see on the screen on the lower left, you would notice I have multiple cameras uh, 
setup here because I have used all these cameras separately before. But now this is what I want to show you, which is the Blackmagic design. It means my card was detected as a video input. So that's what's really amazing about it. That's why when I choose any of the device that's input through this capture card here, you know, my zoom will also capture it and show it as a camera input. So this is really amazing and perfect for those who are doing a lot of teaching, a lot of demonstrating where they need to, you know, some sort of a digital whiteboard. If you're doing a lot of illustration and creative demonstration, I'm going to show you, I'm going to quickly jump into uh, my iPad here. So I'm using a Procreate application. You can uh, grab this on the Apple Store. So uh, I'm, this is not a tutorial on how to use Procreate, okay? So I'm just going to show you how this works very quickly. If you're doing a lot of drawings on an iPad, like, you know, I'm just going to scribble some weird shapes here. Let's say I'm going to draw a circle here and let's wait for it to become a full circle because I have to press that. And then I'm going to just like, you know, create like, a, you know, funny stuff here. This is not a drawing. Uh, demonstration but what I like about this is while you're drawing something you can actually you know create notes so let's say this is like this is the eye okay this is the the mouth okay and you know you can even add here like let's say size let's say you want to show that this is a hundred pixel you know and as you're showing it you're like demonstrating in a whiteboard in an actual classroom so if you want to erase like what I'm doing right now okay, I'm just gonna erase this Or I'm just gonna select everything okay and clear my layer again this is a feature of uh, procreate so it's just a matter of you know I want to share something so this is my topic right so I'm writing here this is my topic and my topic for today would stretch into uh, you know this item one item two item three so what's really nice about this is when you're using a tablet like this you can easily zoom in you know to show stuff in details and not only that let's say if you have uh, the keyboard attached to your tablet you can even you know demonstrate a lot of you know um, how to videos how to use the application how to use you know managing your files on a tablet because what i like about this again is i can zoom in like this you know as you can see on the screen and search for let's say frame 316 media you know I'm actually prepare, uh, promoting my own brand. So here, you know, you would see a lot of things. Let's say you want to discuss this uh, Google My Business space here. You can actually zoom, which is really nice, you know. And when you're doing this, this your meetings becomes, you know, more engaging. And, you know, your viewers will, uh, you know, have that feeling of, uh, it's, it's really easy, you know, to follow what you're talking about, to follow your meeting, to follow your topic. And I hope this very quick demonstration will give you an idea. Again, going back through it, uh, you need this thing here on the screen that you see right now. This is called the capture card and you don't necessarily need to buy this. So you need to search for any affordable um, multi-input capture card that you prefer which is going to be most likely you know plug and play on your macbook so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on videos like this in the future so it's your time to grow and it's time to go to work this is robert from frame 316 see you on my next videos